Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute I'm high on slow dancing with you One, two, three, keep it going, last forever All blacked out, then flying with you I am so excited to dissect a pig's heart and my instructors told us that we should wash the pig's heart with cold water before the dissection. The cardiac surgeon showed us how to dissect the pig's heart and he explained the anatomy to us as well. The preserved pig's heart was bigger and heavier than I expected to be. Let's get going! Um, so today in the morning I learned about orthopedic field and then in the second period I also got to learn a lot about the radiology, about the CT, MRI and about the radiation levels. So all the things that I, I won't be able to learn at high school. Um, and then before lunch we looked into the anatomy of the heart because what we did after lunch was to dissect the pig's heart. The pig's heart is, this isn't a fresh pig's heart but it's the dried one, it's the well preserved one. So it's really dry and it was that's why it was very hard to cut through it. It's not like the normal soft tissues that you will find in fresh pig hearts. Um, but I got to cut the aorta and also inside to see the ventricles and then the atrium and also compare how the thickness of the wall of left ventricle and then the right ventricle and we also learned about um, different types of heart surgery and what a day in a life looks like for a heart surgeon um, so a cardio surgeon so that was today was a really interesting day for me um, and even though it was a bit difficult to cut through with my small scissors and this pig's heart is massive but still it was interesting to learn about all the anatomy and also listen to the explanation from the um, professor and also the assistant. So Stanford Clinical Summer Internship is usually in person face to face but uh, because obviously because of the COVID-19 pandemic we're doing it virtually. So before actually taking this I kind of worried about how we're going to do all these dissections, learning about anatomy and also um, how we're going to interact with the healthcare professionals. But surprisingly, it's working out really well. Um, today, I really enjoyed the dissection, and yesterday, I also did sheep brain um, dissection, and that was also a very valuable time. And I got to really learn about the anatomy, um, and it felt like I am actually in person with them. It didn't feel like I'm at home, remote, kind of looking at the screen, but it actually uh, felt like interacting with the assistants and also the healthcare professionals. Also, the very good thing is I can, when they're doing the lecture, I can type my question in the chat, and when they have time, um, they will answer the questions, and it is a live, it's almost like a live QA session, so we can really have the conversation and interact with a really well known um, healthcare professionals. Um, also, obviously, not just a chat, we can unmute ourselves um, or like raise hand function in Zoom, and we can ask any questions that we have. Um, so, just to uh, just for clarification, this isn't sponsored or I'm not promoting the CSI program or anything, but I'm just really uh, surprised about how well it's, everything's happening virtually and also I am just so grateful that I can learn things, um, learn very fascinating things um, that I won't be able to learn in my high school curriculum. 